Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk, and welcome to the live stream reveal for, for uh, like the god damn I really screwed that in opening up, didn't I? But <laughs> anyway, let me unmute the people who are just saying something. Uh, fight the flat earth and Sammy. So uh, I'm going to. What's up? Hello. So anyway. There's been a project that we have been working on. There's also been a couple of other people that have been working on the working on the project. And, yeah, we're going to reveal what we've been working on. Uh, but just real quick before we get into that, I just want to say that uh, we've finally reached $140 on Patreon. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! So, yeah, that means that the goal that I had... Of a hundred dollars has been reached, so yeah, there'll be Wee. a new video series coming out soon. Anyway, so what exactly have have we been working on? So this has been the wait. So, so is is this the the uh, the AI drones that are going to automatically hunt down and kill flat earthers project or the other thing? No, that's other thing. Right. Oh, okay. Cool. I won't talk about that live. Wait, are we live? Yeah, we're live. Oh, damn. Never mind. <laughs> Disregard what you heard. So, yeah. There's been a project that we've been working on, and... I've... So... To sort of... Give a bit of background... The way that I've come up with this project idea was... I was literally in bed one day. Actually, it was the day after the... Uh, the podcast with Simon Dan, Conspiracy Cats, and Soundly. And... I had this idea of of creating a video game. Now, I have a bachelor's degree in IT, I have a diploma in game design, and I have a diploma in audio production. Graduate diploma in audio production. So I decided to, that a great idea would be a video game. Uh, and a video game about if the Earth were to be flat. So... I I sort of pitched the idea to a couple of people, and Craig, you said that you had the idea of a like making a uh, whole sort of multimedia experience around it, didn't, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I thought it'd um, be good to kind of expand it past just a game, um, and like we can create stories around it and stuff. So I, I thought that I'd definitely be up for. Like writing some um, novels around the the world that we're building for this game. Yeah, so that's essentially what we've been what that's essentially what I've been working on for for a bit. So if I bring up the this here, um, so yeah, this is actually I can probably just go to full screen. Well, let me do that. No, damn it. Stop letting me full screen. Uh, at least not on the stream. It's not letting me go full screen. Okay. Okay. Technical difficulties. If you two can speak while I sort this out. Did, did you just delete the game? No, I didn't delete the game. I. Start again from scratch. Yeah, just, just start over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an absolute pain honestly i spent hours last night trying to program the inventory system yep <laughs> uh yeah i think it's a, it's a good idea um the the amount of nonsense that flat earth has come up with that it, it all seems ripe to just take and make into a story yeah so that like you know what if there was a world that was flat and the government were hiding it and trying to tell everybody that it's round. And why would that be? And what would it be like? That's that's quite an interesting actual concept to, to work on. Yeah, definitely. That was... Hold on, I'm going to have to uh, restart the whole... Not the whole project, goddamn. Technical <laughs> difficulties, as, peop as people have said, it's not optimal. Uh, I'm sorry about the dogs barking in the background, ladies. Oh, don't worry. 
puppies. Cake. We have doves building a nest by our front door, and we also happen to have a motion sensor camera. And every time <laughs> the camera is activated, there's a little bell that goes off, and every time the bell goes off, the dogs start barking. So, uh... Yeah. So, circle. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, you have to kill the birds. The birds come to the nest, they set off the camera, the dogs bark, they scare the birds away, and then the birds inevitably come back to take care of their chicks. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you got a sorted planner? No. <laughs> Unfortunate. What um, have you broken? I don't know what I've broken, that's the problem. I've been trying to get this... I had it working for a bit, then I decided to go full screen and it just stopped working. Please don't tell me that I can't... Can't do this, god damn. Can't you just screen capture it and add it on? Well, that's the problem. There's nothing to screen capture right now. You've actually deleted the game, haven't you? <laughs> it's not that I've deleted it. It's that it's somewhere in my downloads folder. Right here. And... Was that a chainsaw? Did you just kill those birds? No. I think that something went wrong with the dryer. God damn. <laughs> you giving me problems lately? Yeah, I think uh, the dryer broke. Uh, anyway, now I should be able to get this going, finally. Don't break things. Okay. Now the question becomes, where is it? Should be something called imagination, but I'm not seeing it. God damn! Search for the file name. No, it should be a display source. Um, display... God... Why is everything going wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Preparation yeah. prevents piss poor performance. Uh, I'm, I've, I've even tried just capturing a different display to the one that, like nothing, literally nothing is working. Holy shit! This is. This has been blooper reel. It's so can you not get anything to display on your OBS? <laughs> uh, uh, there we go, finally. Whee! Um, I don't, still don't see anything. Hey, there we go. Properties. Uh, now I've got to just go filters and bring this down to zero. There we go. Finally, you can see. Finally, see what I'm. I've got up. So yes, it's been this that I've been uh, working on. So, essentially, this. So yeah, this is the title screen for the game. It's going to have a few things different in the final build. And I should probably turn the light on as well. That's one thing that I did forget. So, yeah, I've been working on the... Mostly what I've been doing is I've been working on the menu. So, and I've made it compatible with your controllers, like Xbox controllers or PlayStation controllers. But you got yeah. to have... Well, can, PlayStation controllers, in my opinion, are superior, but, you know. <laughs> dirty. The only problem is that they don't automatically work with Windows. So, so yeah, you can use your controllers and it, well, with PlayStation controllers you need something like DS4 Windows so yeah and so for those of you who have been wondering what you've been seeing you've essentially been seeing this screen here the screen where I can you know type in 
where I can type in something like uh, Ahoy Hoy to choose your name just simple stuff like this or you can type in I don't know uh, coming soon and yeah you can basically get a whole variety of things I'll just enter plan our walk to set my name to that and yeah so so this part of the game still needs a still needs quite a bit of work but I do have have been working on the these systems here so uh, a lot of the item system is unavailable at the moment because of the fact that a lot of it was been wasn't testing so So yeah, that's basically what I've got right now. Oh, God. it looks funky. Actually, I'm working on the pixel art for the uphill version of the idol. Okay, because so. could I actually get you working on the attacks? Um, on the attack first. Oh right, Arbiter said that, didn't he? Yeah. So. Okay. Cool. The way that, the way that this works or this game is is it's a platformer RPG. So it's going to have turn-based elements as well as um, platforming elements, like what you see here on screen. The chat wants to know, can you 360 no-scope in it? <laughs> I'll probably have an ability that allows you to 360 no-scope. <laughs> awesome. And yeah, so the commander asks, is asking if this is Unity. No, it's not actually Unity. It's Game Maker. So also, it is a it is going to be a little bit retro looking. So there are quite a few pixels that will. Um, so you will see every individual pixel. It'll be pixely goodness, and it doesn't. So it doesn't have music currently. I've got Dean Weiss working on music, and you should definitely go and check out his channel because uh, he makes some good content. In fact, I'm going to be in one of his videos. So, but it does have sound, which. <coughs> did you fix the walking left of the Xbox controller? I did fix that. Good. So one thing that I like to guarantee, uh, one guarantee that I like to have with my games is that they are, one, one guarantee that I like to have with my games is I like to make sure that they are very solidly built. So I don't like my games to be able to break easily. And so... And so one person, one person mentioned, how do I register for alpha and beta testing? And that's actually probably something that I'll have when we launch the Kickstarter, because I'm hoping to launch the Kickstarter by the 30th. So that gives us um, about eight days to, to get this going. So that sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, there'll be Peter, people... If you donate a bit more, then I think it will probably be if you donate something like 75, you'll be able to register for the Kickstarter and will register for the beta and as well as get other rewards. <laughs> and I, I like what Cat Earth said, whoa, this is the E3 stream. And it kind of is when you think about it. With less Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah. I actually... I actually kind of missed um, the whole Keanu Reeves thing. They just turned up uh, um, in the announcement for um, Cyberpunk 2077 and that one lost their shit. Oh, okay. So, you know, pe so, yeah, people have been saying no glitches then. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to try and make it. There will probably be a few glitches knowing, knowing that when you get things... 
you know, every time you create a new feature, you get glitches, but I try and eradicate them as soon as possible. Um, well, it depends whether you mean glitches or bugs. So, story... Yeah, one of the things that I'll also mention is story-wise. So story-wise, this doesn't take place on the... Um, on on Earth as we know it, right? Because first off, it's um, so first. So first off, uh, this is a flat Earth, so obviously it's not the Earth as we know it. But second off, to kind of make this make sense, we're not setting it on. Like you won't be able to go down to America and order a Big Mac from McDonald's. No, there there may be. Um reflections of the modern world but in a flat earth kind of way yeah so there will be a there will be things like a land down under like under the flat earth that's one thing that i'm planning to have so that that will probably have things to re, a whole lot of references to australia's uh, to Australia. God damn, what is English? Um, there will also be things like... Uh, there will also be a whole lot of conspiracies that will be including, like chemtrails will be one of them. And... Uh, I'm also planning on including Bigfoot. Uh, what other... What other ones do we agree on again? Um, Bilu the alien. Um, oh, yep. The uh, the people that were gar um, not look like near the entrance to the portal and stuff. Oh yeah, things like interdimensional portals. So yes. Mm -hmm. Essentially, this is going to be a fantasy story. <laughs> yeah. And yes, you will be so able to use magic. Oh yeah. Someone actually pointed out harp. That's a good one to include. So in in the world, it obviously is flat, and the sun goes overhead on on a, a sun trail and goes from one interdimensional portal to the next. Um, but the government of this world keep everyone confined to a certain area and tell them that the, the Earth's a sphere to to try and control them and keep them away from the bits that would show them the reality of the world, like the ice wall and stuff. Yeah, and you can't see this. You can't see the start the sun trail because of the chemtrails. Yeah. So what you're actually seeing here on screen is so the uh, yellow lines they are the sun trail, and uh, obviously the chemtrails. They, you know, there's going to be something that I'll say it. You know, does something that <clears throat> makes the sun trail uh, not visible to humans. You know. Just standard kind of stuff but yeah hmm so one of the things I should should really ask is what questions do everyone have because <laughs> I oh any references to Yahweh or maybe Yeshua we'll see yeah I think um... that one of the things that I'll probably do is I'll probably have um, so one of the Kickstarter goals will, one of the huge Kickstarter goals uh, will be to have a god tier super boss where you pretty much fight against Yahweh. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it. My <laughs> idea for Me that is to have like twenty different stages at least to this boss. Will one of them be cutting down the the giant tree? Yeah, I am planning on having something to do with uh, Yggdrasil, or however you pronounce that. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, another important thing is that we do have we do have some merchandise available already. <laughs> uh, just just to plan a walks games T-shirt. I'll put that in the chat. Um, essentially, the more cop the more copies of these I sell, the 
more I can, the more I have a bit of time to work on the game. I'm hoping if we get something like four hundred dollars, I'll be able to work on it for an extra week. Uh, uh, so it would be actually going live on the probably the seventh. If uh, that's just to make it look better by the time that uh, the Kickstarter goes live. So I'll put the link in the chat so that you can. So does the inclusion of Yggdrasil mean that there'll be there shall be the Nephilim giants? Most likely, yes. Uh, one of the things that I am going to be you know, one of the one of the things that I'll be sort of having will there will be a couple of chapters and depending on how much the how much we get from the Kickstarter, there may be the depending on how much we get for the Kickstarter, I may not be able to include them in the initial game. <laughs> Someone just liked the video after after I said yes. So yeah, and oh, another important thing is Flatlantis. Flatlantis. Yep. Yeah. So even though the name of the game will be called Flurfia, we will have the lost city of Flatlantis. So, <laughs> uh, but that might be a uh, that might be a sort of. That won't be chapter one. So hopefully, so when it comes to the Kickstarter, essentially the more we get funded, the more chapters will be included in the initial game. And we may change um, the way that we, we may change the direction in which things go depending on how much we get funded for the Kickstarter. The initial goal will be 30,000, uh, but we'll have a whole lot of stretch goals which will allow us to do different things like include different features, include uh, different I'll probably actually split some of the features that I want to include in there because I really want to include skill trees but that's going to be a huge undertaking having skill trees okay I'm going um, ahead and the shirt on each frame of the attack animation okay <clears throat> So how long do you envision the game would take for people to complete? Okay. So I'm hoping that each chapter can be around five hours maybe. That would be that would be an optimal amount. Uh, but I do want to have a lot of side quests. In fact, one of the Kickstarter awards will be design your own side quests. So I want the I want the game to have a lot to do, and uh, the way that I'm the way that I've designed the XP system is you, is essentially the the calculation for the XP is the is your current level cubed divided by two uh, plus forty times your current level. So that means at level one you need forty XP. Level 2, you need 84 XP or 82. I think it's 84. Yeah, 84 XP. So, and it continues increasing from there. So, okay. one of the things that that means is that it means that as, as you get higher levels, you won't be able to grind as much. But I don't want to have a grindy game. So, one of the things that I'm going to do is there's going to be a lot of side quests so that if you do want to uh, grind, it doesn't feel like grinding. Okay. And, and don't worry, you don't have to do any maths. I'm going to make some auto optimization so that you don't have to worry about maths in the game. <laughs> so if you want to... Uh, so your up leveling is 8 inches per level squared. <laughs> I should have done that actually. <laughs> Eight inches per level squared. Yeah, very good. Uh, it's not too late to change it. I'll probably have something to do with eight eight inches per level squared or something like that. Yeah, I don't want to... One of the hard things is creating side quests uh, that are interesting rather than having the same thing over and over again. Like, if, Let's just say that we... 
uh, got because I'm thinking of making the side quests. There'll be something like three hundred. I'm, just, I'm yeah, I'm thinking of making. If you donate a hundred dollars to the game, you'll get a side. You'll get to design your own side quest, basically. So one nice. of the hard things would be, let's say, we only get three hundred backers and a hundred people. All those three hundred backers donate a hundred dollars. So that would mean that would have three hundred side quests at least in the game. I'd be designing my own, of course. So, essentially what that would entail is it would entail a lot of side quests that may end up feeling a little bit um, repetitive. And one person asked, how about a side quest to find Jokely and slap him? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, all, all your favourite characters will be turning up at some point in the book, I think. In some form. Yeah, we'll probably have... So there's going to be some references to characters or to flat earthers, but I'm not going to make them too explicit. Like there's going to be a guy that works on rockets called Hugo and everyone will know who that is. Yeah. But one of the, one of the great things is that we are protected under parody for free use. So, so that, that helps. Uh, one thing I should probably do, do just real quick as I'm going to change the window that I'm sharing. Hello. Oh, oh. Here. Arbiter. Oh crap. So, so hang on, I need I need to unplug something real quick. I need to untangle the headset so I can't hear anything now. I'm deaf. Okay. Um, Let's all talk shit about Arbiter while he's can't hear us. Well he was this a crap character in Halo. The fact that I can't hear anything. Hang on. Um <laughs> I need to untangle the mic so I can put it in front of me, so it's not to the side. So, one of the things... That okay, I can hear again now. Yay. Hello. So, yeah, everyone, this is Arbiter. This is, uh, this is someone else working on the game. So, you've got, you've got a total of six people sort of working on this project. Uh... Two of which aren't here right now, but, you know, four of which are, so that's most of them. So, I'm just going to... Why does it always take me so long to find the to find the appropriate uh, program to, to do what I need to do? I, need, I, I really need to close some programs down. I've got DS4... DS4 oh. Windows, I've got Anvil Studio open, I've got GIMP open, I've got... Stop being so high IQ, you don't need all these tabs. Oh, this isn't just tabs, this is programs. Unfor Unfortunately, I can't stop having an I high IQ because I have a degree in computer science, so you'll have to deal <laughs> with me. Yeah, I have a bachelor in IT. I'm pretty sure that's a degree in computer science. Yeah, or IT is like a subset of computer science, in yeah. a sense. If nothing else, the computer science degree will be like, hey, I'm smart, I'm teachable, I'm not stupid, love me. Or something similar thereof. Yeah, something. Already better than most flat earthers. Yeah. You see, one of the reasons why it had to be a globe earther working on this, uh, why it had to be globe earthers working on this project, is because it wouldn't have been able to be done by flat earthers. Of course. Who I honestly am kind of perplexed at the fact that there are some people who still think the Earth is flat, and that offends all of my. That offends everything NASA and SpaceX and everyone else have done. Mm-hmm. Uh, Union Rock. That offends all of my hours in Kerbal Space Program. Every single hour <laughs> dealt with it. Yeah. The. The fact that flat earthers still exist is in insane, but hey, allowed me to build a YouTube channel, so. Then again, I guess you could say this is like the Jedi and the Sith. The fact that mm. the Sith still remain is kind of perplexing, and then one day they're going to overtake us. Well, oh well. you know, we can always fight back. Against yeah. the Sith? <laughs> we, have the, we have the 501st. We've got the 501st. 
Mm. And a Spartan. So yeah, uh, like it is, it is pretty perplexing that flat earthers still exist. But you know, one of and again, sorry, I was just gonna say one of the things that is great about flat earthers is if the Earth were flat, you'd be able to create, um, yeah, you can create these kind of stories that we're working on. So mm -hmm. that take place on okay. flat Earth. It's kind of like, um, has anyone read the Percy Jackson novels? No, no. So, okay. So, for those of you who don't know, the Percy Jackson novels, at least from what I can tell, they take place mm. on a... They take place in a geocentric universe. Right. So, um, yeah, so that's a sort of a world where it's all geocentric and, uh, yeah, that's... So, yeah. Oh, Hmm? Hey Thomas, a uh, friend of mine just said, "Okay, Planner Walk is cool. How did someone like you find him?" So I said, "I'm like Sammy. I'm working on that project because I shared it with the server, and he's probably going to be amazed at that now." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just gained some cool points, especially after he gave me the role a uh, certified cringe master or something from earlier. Oh, that's mean. I'm gonna yell at him later. <laughs> don't yell at him besides it's probably worth it because i shared him um so uh quick hang on quick I'm... quick question uh does he know about me like without i guess because i just shared it i just shared the video that you sent in order to kind of promote the thing and he said ah planner walk is cool how did someone like you find him so i'm assuming he does oh nice <laughs> but anyways i shared this with the his server i'm sharing this with sammy because i don't know i share that with him and said that was a way to get stars in grand theft auto 4 or something it was that easy or something and then he gave me the rank but i immediately took it away because yeah okay because i'm a cooler mod <laughs> so i i had the ability to take away stupid roles like that yeah it's it's always nice when you hear when you sort of meet people and they're like, oh, I know you, you're playing a walk. There's, there's this one time where I was in an anti-vax um, server. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just... Oh, God. I was uh, trolling them a little bit. And this person said, so are you the planner walk? And this... Like there's more than one? <laughs> Would the real planner walk please stand up? Everyone stands up. <laughs> I'm Planner Walk and so is my wife. Oh, I know I know just Thomas. Yeah, Thomas is yeah, Thomas and I are pretty close. He's awesome. Yeah, like he knows Sammy and that's how he knows yeah. about me. So <laughs> Yeah, Toast yeah, his nickname is Toast because that's how I met him. But yeah, Toast is pretty cool. Yeah. I, I at one point I, I said he was like a little brother to me and he kind of freaked out a little bit. <laughs> and anytime I mention it, he freaks out a little. But that's okay. I mess with him. He messes with me. Talk of Masters mess with me a little bit, etc. So I think there's someone in the chat trying to be... Um, trying to start a debate or something. <laughs> Who? I don't... I don't know. There's... I just... Said someone... Uh, someone says, please demonstrate or concede. Or, I'm not sure... Is it a platonic? He's saying, has anybody managed to get ga uh, gas to stick to a ball in a oh, vacuum God yet? Damn. This is this is okay. not the stream for that. Okay, I'm just gonna explain it to him. If light can't escape the gravity of a black hole, then gas, which is much heavier than light, can't escape the gravity of Earth. Yeah, it's not that hard. Yeah, um, and there's also a pressure gradient. Uh, uh, yeah, please don't ask right, stupid right. questions. Gas pressure about a container. One, how do airplanes create lift? Two, what is a storm system? Three, what is a pressure gradient? They answer all the questions. Now go away and stop being silly. So one of the things that I, I should probably mention is that this uh, is, is that even this flat earth that we've got uh, in the game has no container. I mean, water can be a gas, but you don't see it leaving the earth. 
I mean, no, I know if I was just gonna yeah, it depends on the gases or something. Like, uh, gases can also be uh, there in terms of temperature, so the earth may be, uh, if it's not like hydrogen, no, 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 wait, nitrogen. I'm trying to figure out which. Uh, like if there was no oxygen gravity, then the water pressure would be the same no matter where you were on earth but the deeper you go under the ocean the heavier the pressure is like the more pressure there is that's why we can't go to the bottom of certain abysses without like you know some sort of protection because we would get crushed under all that weight so yeah. Pl yeah, yes plus plus fuck the ocean um and <laughs> One thing I should mention is that water actually boils at low progress, uh, at low um, pressure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I may get the jumping animation done before the falling animation. That way, whenever you're in the air, you've got something. Yeah. So one thing I should probably just mention right now, and this <laughs> this is usually be mentioned um, in private, but so when it comes to the jumping animation. That's essentially a just a simple uh, that that will transition to the falling animation. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm honestly for the sprites. I'm doing a lot of. Uh, I'm getting a lot of inspiration from a uh, from a uh, uh, Starbound in terms of like kind of where to aim it. Okay. In a sense, so I can imagine just kind of the arms going up a little bit and then going up even further for the falling animation and then if we want the animation for falling out the side of the earth i can do the arms flailing then yeah i'm just actually going to bring up a previous game that i have made called unescapable because that it will have a lot of similar similarities but this game will look a whole lot nicer than unescapable because uh, I mean, unescapable. You got this Johnny boy here who, uh, you know, he looks a bit strange. <laughs> You've also got Illuminati, and um, which will probably actually make a return in this game. Not that the worlds are connected or anything. Hmm. No, oh. Illuminati is um, a, a, an official government agency in this world. I think. Yeah. Oh. We will also have um, the OSI in this world. OSI. Yeah, OSI, and uh, there will be the director of Earth Shape of Earth Shape Counter Counter Intelligence, Intelligence Mark Leventhal. Yep. OSI is uh, the operations um, of or the, op the Office of Strategic Influence. Yep. Oh, okay. Who, pay who pays my checks to lie about the shape of the Earth? Yeah. Because why not? Uh, so, yeah, well, there will be a few things, like, when it comes to this game that we're working... I just lost my fucking rank. What? Uh, okay, I just regained my rank. For some reason, I guess I lost my mod rank, and I just got it back somehow. Because I just saw a bunch of channels in the Taco Masters disappear, and they just reappeared. Sorry about that. Um. So yeah, we will be taking a lot of inspiration, but it will it will play a lot better than this game. Seriously, I cannot I cannot stress how much better that this the game that we're currently working on, Flurfia, will will play just a whole lot better than Unescapable. We're even going to make I'm even going to make um make sure that. When you take damage, there's actually a thing where you get hit rather than, rather than you can just walk on normally. <laughs> and yeah, all kind, all kinds of things that will make it a whole lot better. Uh, the turn-based aspects will play a lot better than Unescapable as well, because I should probably actually just show show everyone what Unescapable is like. Uh, downloading unescapable. Do do do. Do 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 do. just responded, "You didn't see anything. You saw nothing." And I was like, <laughs> "I don't know." 
Oh, that's right. Destiny 2 is coming. Oh, it's going to be free soon. Thank God, I was getting a bit bored of Destiny. I mean, all those debates seem to be... Seem to be a shit show. Be funny to fun to see what uh, Destiny Two comes with. <clears throat> so, so yeah, I'll show you. Oh yeah, I can't use a controller with this game, <laughs> with Unescapable. So that's one way that Unescapable is. Uh, well, that's one way that Flurfia is superior to Unescapable. You can use a controller with Flurfia. Ow. What? Uh, I, I wanted to, I wanted to starbound so I can get the animations and I accidentally took fall damage. <laughs> I need to get to a moon. That's not a moon. It's a luminary. <laughs> <laughs> so to get I just hope I don't That's not a moon, that's a satellite orbiting a planet. A that, moon is a giant satellite. That, that's what a moon is. Exactly, that's the joke. A square is a rhombus, but a rhombus isn't, a, rhombus isn't always a square. It's that thing. I oh, yeah. do let me know if the um, game music for Unescapable is is too loud compared to everyone else. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to have cold moonlight in the game as well. Cold moonlight, yeah. Yeah. It could uh, have so at night, it, um, you know, the moonlight makes you too cold after. All. Hmm. It could be something. I'm. I wasn't planning on having any kind of uh, night and day cycle. We'll probably. It'll probably be certain areas you go to at night and. And yeah. Huh, that's odd. It says three six Xbox three con sixty controller X input standard gamepad detected. Huh, that's interesting. So I just so it was like three or f four frames for that for the jump animation then like three or four for the uh, falling. Hmm. I just noticed someone in the chat I think but it might have been my imagination so yeah so this game is gonna be um, so this oh. game is gonna be where the game will take inspiration from so uh, obviously as I said it will look a lot better uh, you probably you won't have a hippie van or anything uh, and it will but this game will look a whole lot more pixelated just to look better <laughs> So yeah, Fl Flurfia will look a lot better because it's more pixelated. I think that's. Uh, I think that sounds legit. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, I just finished recoloring the attack. I or not the attack. I the attack animation. Is it the new one I sent or the old one? It's the newest one that I could find. Okay. Because the first one I noticed the head was too low. So on the first frame I brought it up a little bit. So yeah. Uh, one thing that I have changed is that one of the one of the big differences is instead of text appearing like this in the game, it will appear down the bottom. So that's one of the first big differences. So Want to get 50 bucks? Uh, can I have a uh, 50 bucks? No. <laughs> God damn it! Wait, you get the only. You give me 50 bucks anyway. But, so. Oh, I thought you were saying feedbacks. I thought <laughs> I didn't think you were saying 50 bucks. My my hearing for things is awful. Like I was actually 
for some reason I had the Doofus Merch Evil Incorporated theme stuck in my head, so I looked at the jingle and then I went ahead and was bored, so I made the lyrics for that video for the different things they were saying. Some... And it took me so long to figure out some of the things they were saying. Someone asks me, is the speed of that character movement intentional? Um, so one of the, I should probably explain, is that one of the criticisms that's quite common is um, that your character moves uh, too slow. And that's one of the criticisms I always get when making games, is your character movement is too slow. So I try and make it a bit faster than... Um, mm -hmm. I, I try and make it fast enough so that pe so that I don't get that criticism. So, so they shut up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Sorry about that. Nothing. Mark. So nothing bad against the people. It's just. So yeah, we will be working on what features to bring over from Unescapable. So, because as I said, this game will be very similar to Unescapable in many ways, uh, but better. I was initially just going to have it as a as a uh, RPG with um, <clears throat> some platforming elements, but I decided to actually go full Unescapable and have full on combat when you're in the platforming stages. It'll make some bosses a lot more interesting as well. One thing that one thing I do get a lot of sort of criticism for in, when I make games is people complain that they're too hard. Or something. I don't understand how how like casual gamers. They don't they never played Five Nights at Freddy's on 20 20 20 20 mode. So yeah one thing I'll have to work on is uh, getting it so that it's not too hard at all. Two words, my friend. Get good. <laughs> Stop being <laughs> angry. Yeah, get good will be uh, something that may... <laughs> um, right, yeah. I want that to be one, my, my first card plan I walk, alright? Just get good. <laughs> yeah. Like... Like, don't tell Mojang to make Minecraft easier. Just get good at Minecraft, damn it. Yeah. Don't keep telling them to make changes that they don't need to make. Although they really should hurry up and get on with super duper graphics mode that they promised two and a half years ago. Yeah. I like the graphics just the way they are. In fact, the new texture pack sucks. I, at first I was like, what the hell is this? And then I went to the resource pack and turned that off immediately. One thing I should mention is that the jumping in um, in Flurfia won't oh. be this moon jump. And one person said, when you fall off a platform, you need to fall in the direction of lowest density. <laughs> <laughs> so the physics engine uh, is one that I designed in this particular game. As I said, Flurfia will won't have quite this moon jumping. Um, and it, and one person is mentioning mentioning about lingering will level one critical mode. Has anyone played? Has anyone here played Kingdom Hearts? I yeah. have. I've played the first, uh, the second, three Chain of Memories, and then three fifty eight last two days. Those are the only ones I've played though. Okay. Uh, I posted it twice, once in the group chat and once in the server. But uh, if okay. you look in progress, I posted a GIF of what the preview looks like for, for the attack animation. So yeah, I should probably actually bring this up on screen if I can. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So real quick, I'm just going to... So be able to, everyone will be able to... Oh, wrong thing. Everyone will be able to see. Uh, do, 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 do. One. Th oh yeah. One thing that I'll be. Ask. 
escape of all. Uh, so. There we go, 500%. So yeah, that's the attack animation. Cool. So, yeah, one thing that I'll be able... Shit, I had a thing on my mind, and then I forgot it. Oh yeah, saving. I hate it when that happens. Saving will be... For the first time, I'm actually going to attempt to do saving in binary and game maker. Nice. Rather than saving to a text file that anyone can easily go <laughs> and edit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe what you should do is save it to, um, like, before converting to binary, convert it to base64 and hash. Add another level of conversion in there. Yeah, I've actually thought about a couple of ways to make it so that people can't edit uh, the information easily. But okay, hang on. Let me... Uh, let me do something real quick. This is a program I wrote in my spare time one day when I got bored at school. Um, I've already sent this to Sammy so we can de encode and decode messages. But anyways, this is an example of what I'm talking about in terms of conversion to base 64 hash. Mm. Period. Let me just capitalize the T, even though this is probably not the way we are going to store it. Save that. Um, so I wrote a program that you can type in a message, and then it, it will it will save. It will convert it to, from ASCII to Base64, and then it will convert from Base64 to binary. And then, if I can get to it now, it. Ah, sorry. Um, it converts the binary into a binary image. Okay. One thing that I was it's... thinking about doing is um, having a... Uh, having a... Converting it to characters, because um, one thing that I... One thing that I've got to do when writing to binary is uh, writing in bytes and characters is 8 bytes um, and an integer is generally something like 32 bytes or not, yeah or, or no my bad a character is 8 bits and an integer is 32 bits yeah people like it probably <laughs> when I said bytes I, I was thinking that people were going to go actually I think a, I think a character I think ASCII characters are actually a byte but the integers is 60 is uh, 32 bits Usually. Yeah. Sometimes they can be 16 or 64, signed, whatever. Yeah. All right. Hey, Planet, I'm going to have to jump off the now, bud. Okay. Yeah, I'd... All right, uh, I'm not sure so how I'll long. speak to you later, um, and I'll give you a shout tomorrow um, to give you the link for moderating my debate with Flat Earth Jesus. Okay, yeah. I'll be... I should probably mention that I'm going to be moderating a debate tomorrow with Flat Earth Aussie Jesus. Yeah. That will be fun. <laughs> One person mentioned ASCII is seven bit, <laughs> and Charisma is saying, "Oh, did someone say ASCII?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. See there, guys. I'm Wait. a computer. Okay, see ya. See ya. Yeah, I'm a computer science nerd. I, I'm a I'm a geek, so yeah, I know this stuff. Ish. Yeah. So. One thing I will mention is this kind of view will not be in Flareophia. We're going to have a sort of uh, more of a side-on view. Not quite... Oh, jeez. Did Jesse die already? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesse already died. By God. What? Planner. Hmm? I'm uploading another video. Okay, what did you... <laughs> what is this? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! It's that thing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the thing she wanted to show you that one time, but you never saw. Okay. For some reason, whenever I see that, I just think of Gangnam Style. <laughs> just, we need to have that playing in the background. 
ป้องกันกันนั่นสัทธา I'm just gonna change the display, um, all the properties, and set this to be Chrome. Also, that's another thing. That's n uh, an MP4, not a GIF. Yeah, I know. What the hell? What? That was in the wrong way. <laughs> Damn it. So yeah, this is what we're laughing about. As you can... <laughs> Will this make a um... <laughs> Will this be a thing in the final game? We'll find out. <laughs> uh, can I share that? Can I share that video with the Taco Masters? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Thomas is gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> So yeah, will this be a thing in the final game? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. That could be an Easter egg. Like if you go down like a forbidden path or something and somehow break the game, that's what happens. Or if you hack the game or if you get a pirated version of the game, that's just all you see when you open it. Yeah. Oh no, Platonin is gonna whip my ass. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Look in the comments of the, of the stream. <laughs> It's gonna whoop your ass, not your ass. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me get the stream up so I can actually see comment. Where is it? Nice stream, brilliant chat, horrible game. So yeah, this game here is just where we take inspiration from. Obviously, we're gonna have it very different. Uh, very different. Way better. Like, Flurifia compared to this game is... Like, this is just to show you, kind of, what I can do. <laughs> you don't have enough programmers in voice chat. Um, it says MC Tune. Uh, I, well, the thing is, this is ex for people that I've got working on the, like, I'm in a voice chat with people that are working on the game in particular. So, it's kind of hard to bring people in now because but yeah essentially um yeah there's gonna be a whole lot of things which one one thing that i do want to do is i do want to get more people on this uh not more programmers uh because i think two programmers is enough i may just need one programmer oh to work on converting uh converting uh, integers to binary or converting integers to, to four bytes so that I can go ahead and by the way I'm actually that's what I should do attack oh yeah you will be able to attack yourself in the final game <laughs> <laughs> why 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 not why would you want to commit self-harm like, I can figure out why you would want to do that with grenades, so you can see yourself go flying. Why in with, like, a sword? Well... Unless you're freeing your heart to save Kyrie. Well, yeah, you... You can that yourself, so I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do the same thing everywhere else. So you'll be able to commit, um, ritual Sudoku. Yes. I, you can commit slip and slide. I like. I rather. I like a commit a grenade ragdoll physics. I I like committing Sudoku. Ragdolling is awesome. Gary's mod was fun. Oh, funny story. So the first and last time I ever used a slip and slide, I did a belly flop onto the ground, and knocked the wind out of my lungs and blacked out. Ow! And nearly knocked a tooth out. I was six years old. I have never touched a slip and slide again. <laughs> Good idea. Oh yeah, this is one another thing I implemented in Unescapable Rhythm. This will not be in. Uh, 
This will not be in the final game. Oh, or not. This will not be in um, Flurfia, by the way. Oh. Yeah, I've got a. Uh, I've got the chat up now, so I can see what everyone is saying. That they're conspiring against us. <laughs> And by us, I mean me, because why not? Been a long time since I've since I've done this. But yeah, video game worlds are generally flat, so that's why it's so easy to. Mom wants me to clean the bathroom, so I gotta go. Okay, see you, Sammy. Oh. Later. What that? See ya. So, yeah, there will be features which uh, will, will which will not make it to Flurfia, un unfortunately. But there will be features that will um, that I'll definitely have. Like the good features will make it to Flurfia, <laughs> unless people uh, unless people beg for a rhythm section. So yeah. But you got weird ominous background music, uh, or weird ominous sounds in the background, because I've got Starbound up here, I've got it a freeze framed on the jumping thing, and it's the weird ominous moon background noise. I just realized that um, this is way out of sync. This <laughs> physics. I was a TA for physics. So yeah, we'll definitely have better physics in Flurfia. Won't be flat Earth physics because eighty-six, eighty-six percent accuracy. God damn, July two is open. I've. Still got the Doofus Murders Evil Incorporated theme stuck in my head, and I keep on wanting to sing Doofus Murders Evil Amalgamated. So, because that was. I just want to know: Does anyone have any questions uh, about about Flurfia? So I'm just going to play this for a bit to show, to show, sort of give you an idea of where um, Flurfia is going to go. Uh, but as I, as I continuously point out, Flurfia will be a whole lot better, <laughs> way better. Guys, you're just getting a taste. Won't you have a taste? You only want more. It's like crack cocaine. <laughs> and we'll have deserts as well. <laughs> Don't worry. So... So, oh yeah, we'll probably initially have this on Windows PC. Uh, I will probably have a stretch goal for Kickstarter if we get it funded more than um, more than initial goal. We'll bring it to uh, we'll bring it to um, Mac OS and uh, Linux because you know. Everybody loves Linux. Yeah. I should probably just see my level. Oh, jeez. I am under level. Oh, God. You know what? Screw that arm. We're restarting it. Screw what? The arm I was trying to work on. Oh, for the uh, jump? It wasn't. Yeah, for the jump animation, it, it wasn't looking right, so I was like, you know what, screw it, we're, we're starting over. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, the item system will be a whole lot more coherent as well, because an unescapable... Uh, this... Unescapable was more of a spare time project. This is something that I'm definitely... Uh, Flourishy is something that I'm definitely working a lot harder on, and um, definitely trying to... Also, I've uh, I know 
where to start with Flurifia rather than this. Because this one, I just, you know, whatever came to mind. With Flurifia, I'm actually, you know... Um... One person said no demo, pay for full version. Nani? Uh, oh yes, that's right, I almost forgot. It's a chest here, which would make things a lot easier. Tamed leather armor. Also, we'll, I'm going to make things a whole lot more... Um, Yeah, a whole lot, whole lot better. Uh, we've also got particle effects that we I've decided to use. <laughs> so. God damn, no one's asking me questions. After showing a demonstration. What is the millionth value? What is the millionth value uh, decimal point of pi? Three. One. One. Okay. <laughs> I think the uh, the billionth might be pi. I mean five. Sorry. I did not. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five. I don't know what goes on beyond that. Yeah, I only sorry. I've only learned it to three point one four. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Can we have a, a level boss called Slappy the Clown? That is on the cards. <laughs> Shoot it with a sniper rifle. Yeah, it's... Oh yeah, enter special code Arbiter to get a sniper rifle. Yep. I'm not even joking. Not Arbiter 1, 2, 2, not Arbiter 1, 2, 2, 3, Arbiter. Er, and then we should do something like Thelvatum or something, the actual Arbiter from Halo. And get like an energy sword that's like OP, or it's just a joke or something. I don't know. It'd probably just be more of a uh, more of a joke. Besides, uh, with sniper rifle, there's no copyright there. With an energy sword, there probably is. Um, you know, uh, something uh, to do with the copyright there. Well, as long as we don't say it's a type one, <laughs> we might be. Slappy the clown better yell reification fallacy as he dies. <laughs> Multi Tom Tom, where can you can buy the merch on Teespring? Wait, Multi Tom Tom is asking where I can buy the merch. Also, link is in the description, by the way, for the merch as well. So, wait, we're getting wait, we're getting merchandise from this. Yeah, t uh, you can buy you know, uh, you can buy a T-shirt or a mug, you know. Huh. Um, so, when it comes to, is Platonic asking for a demo of my game? I have kind of made a demo, so, if you're talking about the demo to the, um, okay. so, essentially, so, essentially, you can think of it as unescapable being a demo of the combat systems, and the um, yeah, you can think of unescapable being something of a demo of the combat systems, and uh, Flurfia being a demo of how it's going to look. So multi Tom Tom saying it's all about the money, ain't a damn thing funny. Well, game development takes money. I've got six people working on this. Do you think I don't need any money for game development? How else am I going to live? I need to get my sweet tea somehow. You know, and Coca-Cola. You know, do you think... Um, I mean, I will tell you, I, I don't have too much... Ex I'm a... I'm doing a bunch of the pixel art for the character. Um, I, I don't have too much experience in animation for 2D objects. I have a bit more experience in Source Filmmaker. Not necessarily animation there, but definitely for posing. And posing a 3D character, a model, is a lot different than working with 32 by 32 
Yeah. In fact, I made. In fact, I made my uh, icon for my Spartan avatar in Source Filmmaker way back in the day. So, yeah, essentially, um, like for Unescapable, I worked on most of the assets, and as you can see, they look kind of crap. So. So, um, yeah, so essentially that's why I'm getting other people to work on the, a lot of the assets for this game because, you know. Like what I'm doing, I'm doing like some of the base animations, like kind of a, just getting the right shapes down, kind of crude outlines and all that. And then Sammy is uh, going in and doing a lot of the gradients and making it look yeah, um, Aurora is working on a lot of the art, and Dean Dean Weiss is ripping out. Uh, God damn, I was <laughs> reading the chat and uh, trying to talk. Uh, Dean <laughs> Dean Rice Dean Weiss is working on music. Um, yeah. So. I actually do have a little bit of experience in mixed craft, but I I don't make my own content. I just. A song gets stuck in my head, and I'm like, you know what, that's it. I'm taking it to mix craft, and I compose it. That's where I made Waluigi Pinball. Yeah. So, essentially... Like... So, I just want to say uh, that, essentially, um, yeah, this will all be original tunes. I like original tunes. Um, I may actually use some of the tunes for other games. <laughs> Particularly, Unescapable might be something that I might use some of the tunes in. Because it's unescapable, it's not finished. If you think unescapable is finished, mm. goddamn, no, it's not. Uh, two hours of gameplay, and it's <laughs> and it's nowhere near finished. Honestly, I've seen someone play this game. F oh, jeez, need to go down the murder hole. I've seen someone play unescapable for two hours once, and wow. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I do stuff in mixed craft, I just uh, a lot of times it doesn't turn out the way I want it to because the instrumentation isn't always right. But sometimes it turns out okay, and then a lot, and then occasionally there's something that really is great. Waluigi Pinball is probably the best thing that came out of that. I'm sharing it with the server in case. I mean, probably not going to be able to use it because Nintendo, because. Mario Kart is too good for everyone else to use, but either way. Hmm. Right. And then Dire Dire Dogs is the one I made. Wait, I just realized. Right now I should probably get a um, quick poll. Um, what sort of music will you uh, use? I'll probably use a combination of typical sort of game music, because uh, I've got one uh, lined up which I'm going to be using for a battle, and that kind of sounds, sounds like what you'd expect to hear in a game like Final Fantasy. And so that will be the battle music. Um, uh, so and so yeah, but in um, oh jeez, I'm low on health. Uh oh. <sighs> health pack. So yeah, I'll probably use. Um, It'll probably be more video gamey than. Oh jeez, I took a lot. Of, didn't take a lot of damage, but this one, this boss, people tend to take a lot of damage from. This boss probably has. I think it has something like 36, 36 HP. Mm -hmm. Know that it. Oh, jeez. So, you know, one of the approaches I take to designing bosses is I try to make them have some sort of way to beat them. Uh, but, you know, there's always. It's always interesting to see what other ways people come up with. You know, are they intelligent and beat it in the way that I. Um, in the way that I. Uh, designed to be beaten, or are they, or are they a dumb dumb and um, you know don't 
don't think of any way to you know or are they extremely intelligent and exploit something like this little hole here actually that out actually that's not the best way to <laughs> beat that boss so you actually take more damage in that hole uh, this don't go in the hole then yeah don't go in the hole without protection essentially So anything in the key of E flat. So there are a few tunes that I have designed for another game uh, that I sh you know I should just play. What does? Oh, <laughs> it comes up with the flurfier music. Oh, uh, not flurfier music, but the flurfier thing. Um, so one of the things that I'll Where is it? One of the things I'll show everyone is the music I designed for the uh, for a game that I worked on last year. Um, where did I put it? The Earth's globe. Uh, I might contradict that by saying the Earth is a sphere, a globe is a representation versus a map. It's on the kind of same scale as a map, except it's 3D instead of 2D. Hmm. So I've found one of the things that I did. Uh, it'd be before Flurf uh, censorship. It'll, actually, it'll be way before any of this MC10. Bittersweet. MP3. And it would be before Guess Who's Back. Um, hmm. Wonder how this sounds. I think it's just. Hold up. Okay, this doesn't have the um, echo effect on it that I um, put in, in afterwards. So this is a version of this one here. Time signature of... Um, 58, uh, 16. So I generally try and make music sound interesting when I write it. I usually do drums first. This one, actually the piano came first. Yeah, percussion a lot of times is the hardest thing to do. Like it takes its own, a lot of own of its own tracks, honestly. Hmm. And that's a lot of time. A lot of times, the percussion is what gets me when I'm doing stuff. That's supposed to be negative ninety, not. Hmm. What's your favorite signature? Key signature. Uh, time signature. Like one person says fifth, time signature of 5816 and MC Tune prefers time signature 3789. Uh, I don't know. It depends on the tune. Like, whatever it fits the tune. Like, uh, um, if you can't tell by my username, Arbiter1223, I'm a big fan of the Halo series. So, um, Martin O'Donnell did some pretty good stuff with time signatures. Like, I remember the... The soundtrack Leonidas and in Halo 3 Leonidas Returns, a lot of times it goes back and forth from uh, 5 4 and 6 4, I do believe. Hmm. Yeah, six, yeah, 6 4 and 5 4. And then it keeps alternating between those two. And then there was a track on in Halo Reach um, on the level, the package, I think it was, 
where it was actually in 11-4 time, but you could think of it as alternating between 5-4 and 6-4 constantly. Yeah. So yeah, one point one person did point out that that was um, a four four. I generally write, I yeah, I generally do write music in four four because it's far yeah. easier to do that. I'll also. <laughs> probably should have played the boss theme uh, first because that the boss theme is very um, for the thing that I was working on uh, last year the boss theme was very similar to this well not the boss theme the battle theme As a band nerd, it it, uh, mm-hmm. it all depends on. As a band nerd, it all depends on the tune, honestly. For actual like, what makes a good time signature, it all depends on the tune. Like I remember playing in Carmina, Carmina Barana. It was a uh, at one point there was one four, and like briefly every saw so there'd be a one four. Okay, I just to add an extra beat somewhere. Yeah, I generally don't add um, add extra things. I just and again, that was car- sorry. I just write whatever um, sounds best to me. Yeah, like that was Carmina Barana though. That uh, if you don't know what that is, that is the uh, that they used that for the theme for Jackass, I do believe. Okay. So yeah, the tune that I've got playing right now is basically exactly the exact same as the last one, just different speed and all that it's a little bit quiet because of the way that I did this as a band nerd though uh, I was in marching band a lot and uh if there's one show I had to, I could redo and like relive, it would be the Queen show we did my freshman year of college. God, that was so fun! I loved playing Bohemian Rhapsody. That was freaking amazing. Mm. One thing, one thing that I do want to say is I do like, um, is I do like music that has like one of the things that I really like about this battle thing that I wrote. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but it has, it just has like this really fast piano, especially um, if I play from here. And don't worry about tuning your own horn. I do that. I do that all the time because I was trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> so twelve years. So yeah, it's. Oh wow, that's actually perfect. What is? For once. I did a rotation in GIMP, and I did not have to alter it at all afterwards. Okay. Uh, except for maybe a couple of pixels here. Mm. But your last um, last one that I'll play is the is this one here. I, this one was really fun to write, actually. Because I was just trying to think of a boss theme, and yeah. Oh, it's really fast on the piano. That would be the, uh, would be the, uh, castle theme from, like, the original Super Mario Brothers. Uh, okay. In fact, I got that somewhere where I was trying to recreate a version they did for a game called Bullet Bill 2. Okay. Hey, Tusk, if you want hey. to join the project, I might, like, if you've got, um, some drum bass stuff, and you want to join the project, message me on Discord because I do need another um, musician because the current one um, may not have enough time to work full-time on the project for next year. Uh, So, uh, if you want to join, 
that'd be good. <laughs> like I said, uh, like I said, I can if I, I can do stuff by ear. Making my own stuff is where I would fall short. Yeah, in Minecraft, honestly. Question, will the bosses in the game have an AI or will they be more accurate representation of um, flurfs? So, the bosses in the game will actually be, um, will actually be glow birthers? Yes! I, wait, maybe we could add me in, if the game takes multiple paths, I could be, like, have my own boss in there, be like, I'm a glow birther, I'm... Uh, etc. So, like I do NASA stuff. Yeah, I've I've talked to Simon. Want to at least? I've talked to Simon Dan Conspiracy Cat. Soundly, they've all they've all agreed. Obviously, I'm gonna be a boss in the game. So, expect yeah, this. like you'd be the final boss. Honestly, like that would be no, a not, cool way to do it. Not necessarily. Like I will appear in the OSI, and um, actually, I think Soundly and Cats will. Simon and Dan will be the only person that doesn't appear in the OSI. Uh, I'll appear in OSI and Seal Theme 6. Uh, MC Toon, I believe, will be a boss. Um, fight the Flat Earth. I'll have to talk to Rapid X if he wants to be in. Neil deGrasse Tyson should be final boss. To... I mean, I'm unsure at this point who the final boss is going to be, but uh, I would rather have. All of them. I'd rather have permission from uh, the people who are appearing in the game, especially if it's, um, especially when it comes to the glow birthers. Uh, so, so yeah. So any any last questions before I uh, end the stream off? You know, I might have some flat earthers like Gigantor and uh, Jokely the Clown. Uh, you know, just some, um, just some, some people I'm gonna have uh, in your party. Like, there's gonna be this guy that's a Sasquatch that um will join your party at this current point in time. I'm thinking of naming him Tim. I was gonna name him Ross. But I think I'll name him Tim. Hmm. It'll just be a Sasquatch. Um, you can join your party and yeah. It'll be a black. One of the things that I will also have in there is black mages will uh, be quite useful. So, um, I'm just trying to think of uh, who else will have in, in there is, because it is it is very difficult working out working out who you got to have in there. Because if I put too many people in there, then obviously, you know, there'll be uh, it'll be too much work. Um, but one thing I should probably stress is that if you do want to support the game. Um, let me just, um, let me just reload the page. Huh, uh, that, that's right. Properties. There we go. So if you do want to support the game, one thing you can do is um, support me on Patreon. That's either way. You if you want to support just me on YouTube or the game, either way you can support me on Patreon. That's the way to. That's the way to do it. There we go. Because um, the more if I if I make more um, if I make more money on Patreon, then obviously I'm. I noticed stringing users in the chat, so 
he's one person that's supporting me on Patreon, so... Uh, yeah, supporting me on Patreon or becoming a member of the channel. Either way, that helps. Uh, I need. I really need to start updating uh, things on Patreon when I <laughs> when I when I post. So um, location name idea: Dense City. Hmm, that's such a good idea. That's one of the great things about being me. I can sort of use ideas that people. <laughs> That people throw at me. It's not stealing your ideas. I'm just using them. <laughs> so yeah, uh, like if he's not stealing them, he's borrowing them. Ah yes, borrowing them. But yeah, if I get to something like eight hundred dollars um, per month, then I can extend the. And it's doing. I can extend the amount of time I'm working on this project a lot. So that m pretty much what that means. That might actually be the. No, the starting town's got to be a small town. Flabama. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Uh, I usually think, when I think of small towns, I think Alabama, but um, Alabama's state, not a town. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Like, I live in the US. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to support me, like if, if we get to $800, I'll be able to extend this project out. And by extend it out, I mean make sure that by the time I release it, everything is in is nice and in place and uh, not breaking. That's what duct tape is for. Yeah. <laughs> duct tape is awesome. Yeah, yeah duct tape is... Uh, duct tape is great. Uh, like enter promo code duct tape for and get a free roll of duct tape <laughs> when you start the game. <laughs> that would be cool. And that and duct tape like unlocks a secret item if you use it in the right place, but it can be a one time use for something else like repairing something. So one person did mention Flatlanta, and I'm going to have a place called Flatlantis, but that's uh, probably going to be uh, more of a. That's probably going to be like the focus of the third chapter. I was thinking of the of the game, the Lost City of Flatlantis. So many things I could do with that. Yeah, Flatty Flatty Wood is also taken by Gary's mod. So yeah, um, and once again, so I do want so I do want to try and get this done by the thirtieth. Um, get the Kickstarter going by the thirtieth of this month, but. I also want to have a good demo for people to play uh, by the time the Kickstarter goes live. And so what people... Oh, the Underdome might be a good idea as well. Have an up... <laughs> I'm going to have an upside down or... Not an upside down level. I'll kind of, um, I'll kind of have something to correct it. But yeah, there will be uh, a... There will be a level where uh, you are essentially on the other side of the flat earth. You go through the interdimensional portal to get there. Um, so, yeah, one thing that you can do to really support the game, and I'm going to have more merchandise, especially once I've got the logo done, there will be a Flurfia t-shirt that you'll be able to buy. I'll post it when, when it's available. Yeah, I'm kind of sideways, I think, but I just didn't really have, need upside down technology. Anyway, uh, so yeah, if you want to, so if I get something like three hundred dollars from this, uh, from these campaigns, or three three to four hundred dollars, I'll be able to extend it out by a week. That one week, right? Will one thing you'll learn about one thing I've learned about game design is just one week really helps. To be able to make things a whole lot better. So, and I mean, it's. I'm trying to work out how to explain it because it's. There's been times where I've thought, if I had, when I've been working on a game, and I've thought, if I had one more week, there would be so much that I'd be able to, so much more that I'd be able to do. So, yeah, even just. Did the I don't no I don't think the link that you posted showed up. Hey hey, I, th I think it's two score Tusk. If you send that to me on Discord, I've got a link to my Discord in the description. 
uh just send that to me on discord and i'll um have a listen to it and see uh see if we should bring you on board uh so yeah it's always and um it's not so much that i take a beer and don't i thank you the snark for uh two euros by the looks of it so yeah um also supporting me on patreon as i said helps uh, i'm up to 140 dollars a month and i'm not going to i'm not going to um stop making videos for this game there will still be videos coming out i'm just going to be focusing very heavily on this game and i'm going to make this game as awesome as it possibly can be uh and yeah, I don't think I have much more to say. Also, mugs look good. What? What's this supposed to be? Oh, that's supposed to be a t-shirt. But yeah. Also, tote bag just has the black logo. And it's Planet Walk Games, the, um, these t-shirts. So, anyway. Came back Wade. What does that mean? What about Wade? Oh, Wade is a... Um, Uh, Wade is a person that I know um, in real life, and he used to be on the. Uh, he used to have a. F There's a few videos with Wade on this channel. Just search my channel for Wade. Uh. They are, in my opinion, they are hilarious. If you want to sort of see what I did before going against Flat Earth. <laughs> All right. Um. Because because whenever I see the word Wade, I I, I instantly think of. Shut up, Wade. Uh, Markiplier saying that to <laughs> Wade. <laughs> yeah, people uh, did think about... Um, yeah, people did uh, say, do you mean Wade from Markiplier? I'm like, no, I mean... Lord Minion <laughs> 777? No, it's a different Wade. It's a better Wade. <laughs> yeah, Wade. Nah. No one has seen nah. Wade in years, so... It'd be nice... Oh, I honestly would want to get Wade on the live stream. Um, on a live stream to um yeah i just want to get wade on, on a live stream to be able to uh sort of say okay i'm gonna show you this video wade and you're gonna wonder if is this legit and i yeah, promise you wait <laughs> wait hmm? uh to kind of clear off any steam i might be getting wade lord minion 777 is pretty cool we just everyone just likes a dog on him because why not yeah. It could be worse. He could be Griff from <laughs> Red versus Blue. And it could be even worse. It <laughs> could be Calculus. Yeah, I I'm not big into the whole gaming um gaming thing that you're talking about, so I don't know much. <laughs> calculus is not gaming. Calculus is college. Calculus is hell on earth. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about actual actual, cal, a, 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 actual yeah, calculus. Yeah, actual calculus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean. Yeah. I wanted to learn calculus, but they didn't have calculus classes and. Don't. Um, it's a trap. I mean, it's, it's evil. It sounds like you'd be able to do a lot of advanced algorithms by. Don't go for it. Uh, math is easy. It's calculus that sucks. Oh, but calculus is math. No, calculus is a derivative of math. For anyone who gets that, you are a veteran. Yeah. Like, I, I, all I know about calculus is it has this weird E symbol, which is the sum. That's sigma. That is basic mathematics. You haven't even gotten into derivatives, integrals, trapezoid rules, or anything like that. Okay. Stay out mm. while you can. <laughs> uh, I mean, does um, does trigonometry have anything to do with calculus? Trigonometry was easy. It um, yeah, no. <laughs> like I like I got an A in college algebra and then an A in trigonometry. Calc one hit. I got a C. Calc two. I failed the first time. Retook it. Passed it with a C. And then linear algebra dealing with major season taking the reduced row echelon form i gotta be in okay yeah. math is like i said math is easy it's calculus that 
kicked my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I personally, if I'm just trying to think what the trying to read what the chat says, if to the power of two is that? Uh, well, let me see. If uh, like, so yeah, f prime equals you know, f prime of x equals y prime of it, which is usually like what was it? Oh, okay. Um. Didn't you like multiply it by that power and then uh, subtract the power by one or something like that? It's been a while. Yeah. You see, I. The reason why I don't know much about calculus is because I didn't take the class because uh, school I went to was too poor to afford calculus classes. Uh, mm. Oh, wow. One person mentioned um, three blue, one brown has great calculus content. And, yeah, I've seen... Um, oh, yeah, isn't sigmoid um, calculus? What? Isn't a sigmoid function uh, calculus? Sigmoid. I don't know about that. But like I said, that weird A you were talking about, that's the sum of stuff, that is Sigma. And I do believe Sigma was involved in some of the calculus stuff, but Sigma is just a general thing. Yeah. I believe... Um, I think uh, the Sigmoid function, I believe, is also known as squishification. Squishification? Yeah. It's where you've got like a whole, um, you know, if you, it's, like, it's something that I remember from three blue, one brown. He said um, sig, sigmoid, also known as um, squishification, is basically where you've got a whole lot of things. And if you want to write it out, that would be, it would take a long time to write it out. But what you can do is you can squish it into a sigmoid um, function, which makes it look a whole lot better. Hmm. And I don't know. I'm not sure exactly where that would be. And like I said, I only took Calc 1 and 2. I heard there was a Calculus 3. And then I was also hearing stuff about something called, what was it? Um, calculus 4? Um, no, Discrete Math. Okay. What about Calc... I'm, I'm what about Calculus I'm also... Reborn? Calculus Reborn. That, that sounds like it would be... Um, that sounds like it would be Dead Space all over <laughs> again, and I've never played Dead Space, but just watching the watching playthrough of it was horrific enough. It made the flood from Halo look like child's play. Hmm, I'm just trying to think of what else. Um, calculus. It would be calculus returns. The, the nightmare reborn is what it would be. Um, Revenge of the Calcs. <laughs> Revenge of the Calculus. No. No, it no. It's like the five hundred first itself is calculus it, itself. Yeah, but um, what I remember about the rise of the empire is, is how quiet it was during the waning hours of the Clone Wars. The five hundred first legion was discreetly transferred back to Coruscant. It was a silent trip. We all knew what was about to happen. What we we're about to do. Yeah. Did we have any doubts? Any private traitorous thoughts? Perhaps, but no one said a word. Not on the flight to Coruscant. Not when Order 66 came down. And not when we marched into the Jedi Temple. Anywho. Not a word. Anyways, enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, essentially what I've got to say is support me on Patreon, buy my t-shirts, and... <laughs> and stay away from calculus. Yeah, apparently... <laughs> Um, and <laughs> Tusk or Tusk, I'll see if I can find you on Discord anywhere, but, um, um, keep your hands away from my Delta unless you're serious. Yeah. Delta's okay. Especially with Kerbal Space Program, Delta's okay. Like Delta V and all that. Yeah, I'll try and find, um, I'll just get a link to my Discord so that Tusk can, uh, join. Or anyone in the chat can join. But I'll try and mention Yay. Tusk. God damn it, I don't... He has a weird U thing in his name. <laughs> oh no. There we go. At... 
Tusk. Uh, Anyways, there's gotta be... I love building space stations there. In Turtle Space Program. In fact, I've got that as part of my desktop uh, slideshow. God damn it, I keep on... Where is it? I thought I had like a $50 super chat for a second there because I scrolled over my name uh, and then I saw some mm -hmm. red um, come up. So yeah, essentially if you do, if you click that link that I just sent in the chat and you may have sent it to the wrong um, to the wrong person. Um, or may wait no you didn't you're Chris on Discord. So you're trying to get him to the Flurfia uh, uh, thing, right? Yeah, mu having a musician would be good because we've got okay we've got like three different people working on art, one person working on music, one person working on program, and then like three different people on story. I'm I'm on story. Um, Craig is on story. And Sammy's on story. One thing I should probably mention as well is there will be a... This is this Kickstarter is not just for the game. It's for the book that we're going to be working on. So, yeah, mostly Craig is going to be working on the on the book. I'm, I'm mostly working on the game. And Sammy is going to be helping with the story on that. Because I've seen her work on story for a different game, which fell through. Not because of the story. It's because uh, the management was crap. <laughs> Hmm. And that's one th that's one trap that I don't want to fall in. That's why I've been trying to make every everybody yep. uh, sort of keep on track when it comes to this this year. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. I think that's I think that's it. Uh, make as I said, you know, support me on Patreon. Buy my T-shirt. Uh, you know, it's just Teespring slash Planet Walk Games. I'll post another link in the chat for anyone. There's a link in the description for the. There's a link in, link in the description. As I said, the more you support us on um, on Teespring, the if I get one more week, we can make this thing a whole lot better and make it. You know, when the demo comes out, you'll actually be able to see something that actually has proper gameplay rather than. Yeah, and there will be. There will be a whole lot of references. For example, seeing as I've only got 37 people here, I can probably mention this without a whole lot of people uh, you know, finding out about it. Pressing space on the keyboard. That's actually <laughs> the space <laughs> comma key. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So there are going to be a ton of references um, in the game. There's going to be references to Belo and all that, so... It's <laughs> it's gonna be great. Uh, so yeah, the more as I said, buy buy the t-shirt. I'll have merch coming out, and I'll post it on the community tab in a few days, hopefully. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'll see you. Wait, got that out. Outro. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like that stream. Leave a comment about what... Are you hyped for the game or not? Do you think... Any suggestions? Uh, any questions? Uh, all that kind of stuff. Be sure, to, be sure to support us every little bit on Patreon or Teespring Helps. And, yeah. I will see you in the next stream. Between you and me, thank you for watching. Awesome. And I've just got to think of a tune to play. Any ideas for a tune? I'm thinking of uh, this... what about the what about the throne room theme from uh, the end of Star Wars Episode Four? I don't know that. I, I only know a few. Um, um, uh, I no, and I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> I need a. F I know a few video game tunes, but um, but I can't remember. I've got I've got some of my Mexicraft stuff in the server. If you want to like use those real quick. Like, just play that in the... Ooh. Uh, don't play it.
anything Star Wars. Yeah, that's copyright. What if we, uh... What if we, uh... Do voice outros or something? Just me doing voice acting. No, there was only one ship. One? Are you sure? Yes. They called it the Pillar of Autumn. Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled. As we set fire to the planet, yeah. but I fall with all the ships in my command. One thing that um, I should probably mention is we may have a little bit of voice acting. Like I'm thinking of getting someone to do a little bit of voice acting for Bilu, but it's not going to be really heavy because first off, the costs of voice actors um, would be would be one thing that would raise the cost a lot, and second thing would be uh, the size of the size of the game. The more music that you, or the more sound files you have the bigger the game gets seriously yeah even in even if it's all mp3 it, it would grow but yeah the plating was about to fail this is constantly throughout the gel layer optics totally fried let's not even talk about the power supply you know how expensive this gear is son why has no one that why has no one bought the shirt god damn that really helps <laughs> <laughs> Buy it, goddamn uh, it! <laughs> Support maybe, us. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should just continue doing uh, voice acting and, until they do it. <laughs> anyway, Earth. haven't seen her in years. When I stood up for basic, the old defense grid was all theory and politics. Now look, the Cairo is just one of three hundred old defense platforms.